Hey everybody, it's Cujo. So I'm sitting here in my sound truck and I'm going to do a really fast uh, video on how to do the wireless designer uh, scan stacking and then also uh, laying in the RF Explorer scans so that you can uh, do a master list for everything you need. So hang on one second, I'll turn the camera around and we'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this on the phone here so it might be a little wonky, but let's uh, open up wireless designer and then we're going to go to connect open connections from list I'll open up the show that I'm on and we see uh, receivers start coming online so I'll go to my frequency coordination you'll see I've got all my receivers up there or transmitters up there uh, here these blue lines are the frequencies that we're locked into but you see we have no scan data at all so what I'll do is I'll go over here into import scan data from file okay and that will bring up a list of our scans that we have memorized or saved in here um, we have master scans and then all the different things uh, from all these different locations around here so we'll go to the uh, Roswell jail right there we'll import that one import bang and there it is it pops up and then I want to bring in some more scan data so import scan data from file and this is where I'm going to pick up the scan data from RF Explorer, which is right here as a CSV file. I'm going to click on that one and import the CSV file. And you'll see automatically it opened up all the way. I had this set up around 750 megahertz, so it's opened up that whole range there. And then I'm going to import some more scan data. I'm going to bring in my... master Roswell courthouse bring that one in and now we have all of the scan data from the uh, RF Explorer which shows us all of our T-Mobile and the trunked communication lines from the uh, EMS and then we have all of our stuff from the scans from wireless designer which is where all my transmitters are living and now we see that we still have no conflict so uh, what we're doing here is and it's really kind of hard to see on the phone screen but you can see there's like a little slight shading difference right there and that shading difference that's the overlay from one scan to the next so every time you stack a scan on there it sort of uses a little bit of shading to help differentiate them so now I've got all of those scans in there no conflicts and then if you want you can export all of this scan data as one file I already have it saved so I'm just gonna call this one test and it will be there now I've saved all that scan data as one file and then if I'm really smart I will export this as a um, I will export this as a project um, or a session so I'll go up here to the file save session as file and then we'll call this test session because I already have it saved but I'm just gonna do this for your benefit call it test session and then we save that and click OK here and now it's saved as a project file so the next time I come back to this location all I've got to do is go up here to file and I will load the session from the file and it will bring in all these um, it will bring in all these transmitters and all this coordination then I can bring in the scans even make a new scan and bring those old scans in with the new scan and have everything laid in there real nice and that is how you use wireless designer 
to really, really just jump up your whole coordination uh, platform uh, more so, I think, than a lot of other software packages can do. Uh, and the fact that it works with my Electro Gear and it's free, uh, you can't beat it. You just simply can't beat it. So there you go. That's how to coordinate using stacked frequency coordinations and stack scans. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Hey friends, thanks for watching my YouTube video on how to stack scans in your wireless designer setup, both using wireless designer to create a bunch of scans or even using uh, other vendor scans and importing them as CSV files. Thanks again for all your support. We appreciate it a whole lot. If you have any questions or comments, shoot me an email at atlantasoundguy at gmail.com or leave a message right down in the comments below. I uh, try to make videos whenever I can, and I sure would appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.